On this car, the manifold absolute pressure sensor is right below these coolant hoses. Right, so on the connector we've got from the left the brown wire, in the middle the yellow wire and on the right here is the purple wire. The purple wire is going to be the ground, so I'm going to connect the ground from the voltmeter. In the middle we've got the reference wire which has to be 5 volts and we've got exactly 5 volts. So the one on the left, the brown wire, is going to be the signal wire which will change depending of how much pressure it is in the intake manifold. Obviously the connector needs to be on the map sensor. Now let's see if these values will change while the connector is on the sensor. Let's see the yellow one, it's going to be the reference which will never change. The signal wire now you can see it's changed because now the connector is on the sensor and the sensor is detecting some pressure. Alright, so as you can see right now the engine is idling and we've got the intake manifold pressure of 37 kilopascals. Let's keep the engine to 2000 RPMs and let's see the pressure change. Now, all right, and you can see the deviations there. Now let's do a spike, like I'm going to accelerate very suddenly. And you can see how the manifold absolute pressure sensor is detecting an increase in pressure. So we see that spike because we let the air to enter inside the intake manifold by opening the throttle body. The pressure is going to increase for a short time. Then when you close the throttle body, the engine is still consuming air. It wants more air and therefore you can see that drop in pressure compared to the normal flat line. However, this doesn't mean that the sensor can be accurate. So this is what we're going to do next. We're going to take out the sensor, inspect it and clean it. There is an 8 mm bolt which holds the sensor on. So I'm going to take this ratchet. The bolt is out. It's very important to feel how the sensor comes out. If it does come out easy, it means that this rubber gasket is not sealing properly and you will definitely have an air leak. You need to see that the gasket is over, okay, it has to rise above these two surfaces. And as you can see, this sensor has a lot of oil build up on it. As I said, this oil can affect the readings of the sensor, but it's not enough only to clean the sensor here, because if there is oil here, it's going to be as well on the pipes. So when I'm going to take out the intake manifold and replace the gaskets, I'm going to clean as well this pipe. Okay, I'm using mass airflow sensor cleaner. And there is a lot of gunk on it. Okay, I can see the fluid becomes black. You got to clean the surface as well. Now let's install the sensor back. Clicks in. If you don't get any signal at the connector, you can check the fuse box. You see this 20 amps fuse, the yellow one. This is responsible with a lot of sensors on the engine, including the manifold absolute pressure sensor. And yes guys, that was pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.